I want to clear something up, though. You were talking about not judging the non-believers. I'm not talking about non-believers. My ministry is to believers. I mean, I'll talk to a non-believer, but I, I want to get out you know, into the greatest mission field that there is, which is the church. <laughs> and I believe that they're my brothers. You know, I believe that they are. Now, I'm not saying everybody. Unfortunately, you know, I don't think that a church is a place where you invite non-believers. I believe that the congregation of the called out ones is a place where we get together without the non-believers for equipping. We, we need to not bring people in to let the pastor get them saved. We need to have our life witness out in the world, and then we get together in order to help each other and encourage each other. But I'm talking about when we're in front of other believers. Yes, are we to re judge and rebuke and all those things? Yeah, but how would Yeshua do it? And we, you know, how would you come and how would you receive it? And and this I know, and I would ask everybody, I, you know, I'll ask you, John and John, is there anything that you know to be truth right now that a year ago you didn't think was truth? And over the past there's year, stuff that, there's stuff that I would think about now for a month ago that I know okay. to be true that I didn't so know a month ago. I, I wanted so, yeah. to give you a full range of a year, but let's say a month ago. Okay, a month ago you were sure something was truth, and now you know that you were wrong, and and this is now. Now, I have to say on that postulate that that means that right now there are things that you believe to be true that aren't. Okay, I mean, hey, a month ago you would have, you know, it's the same thing, right? Oh, so. Yeah. Those people have some things wrong, but I would say this: that guy, you know, with the let's go to the, with the Christmas tree. Maybe he wakes up every morning at 4 a.m. and prays in the spirit for three hours. Now you'll say, how in the world would he still have a Christmas tree? I don't know. Just go with me on this. But but are you getting up and doing three hours of praying in the spirit? Everybody is called, and they're you know we're we're, we're matured. Our ministry and the one from Biblical Health TV, especially we got, is a holiness in all things. We really need to bring everything up. And that guy may not have the Hebrew roots. You know, he may not have that understanding, but he may have stuff that will just plow you down. And the Father's working on him, and guess what? Maybe you're the guy to help him get the Hebrew roots part, and maybe he's the guy to teach you something else. But right. if you go in with this superior attitude, because knowledge puffs up, folks, I know this. If you're puffed up, you're not trying to keep the Torah. Exactly. You, you actually try to do this. You're going to come to the end of yourself in humility. And I don't know how, if you do it for too long, five years, ten years, I don't know how you can go in and slam somebody else because they're not doing it. Because you, you, have, you have to look at that in that mirror yourself, folks.